Romans. Let's see. That's how they're going to work out. <clears> that beautiful. Hmm. I don't know. However you see fit. How about that? We'll work it out that way. Y'all good with that? How do you see fit? I don't know if everybody got that mindset. That's on the how do you see fit. I don't just want it when he on the board. I want I want that in my lifestyle. I want the how do you come see. If he see fit, he say, I don't want you to have no legs. I just want to be comfortable enough to trust him. That thing will show sure hurt me to death, though. That thing hurt. I've been walking pretty much ever since I know. I don't remember when I was crawling. How many of y'all remember y'all when you started crawling? I heard a preacher say years ago, some people know too much. <laughs> you can know too much. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Man said he remembered when he started crawling. He had to get some checks. Now, how many of y'all agree with them checks? You know, he had to get checks, but they didn't write for knowing too much. <laughs> let's, let, let's look at the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. Listen to the book. For whatsoever things were written aforetime mm -hmm. were written for our learning. See that? Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our what? Learning. Our learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might do what? Have hope. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Let's look at some of your nine. Try to do this and get out of your way here. Three and one. Yeah. I'm a homie Barashi. Let's try to just get in here. However you see fit. Y'all good with that? Barashit, they call Genesis. Yeruka 9, chapter 3 and verse 1. Whatsoever things are written for time. Don't forget what it was written for. <clears throat> what was it written for? Our learning. Our learning. That we? Through patience. And? Comfort of the scripture. Might do what? Have hope. Y'all paying attention to that? Whatsoever things are written for time, we're written for our learning, right? And we, through patience, comfort of the scripture, might have hope. That's right. Listen to the book. There was an Ish of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. What was he? A ruler of the Yahudim. Y'all see that? He was a ruler of the Yahudim. What happened? The same came to Yahushua by night. Y'all see that? The same came to Yahushua by night. And said unto him, What did he tell him? Teacher, we know that thou art a, you are a teacher come from Allahim. See that? He knew that he was a Morai come from Allahim. Was it Morai, I mean? Moray, come from Allahim. Why? For no each can do these miracles that thou doest, God, except Allahim be with him. See what he said? He said, no each can do these things that Allahim, I'm sorry, that no man can do these miracles which thou doest itself. Except Allahim be with him. See that? He said, some way he could do it. Allahim had to be with him. What happened? Yahushua answered and said unto him, Tell him what he said. Aman, Aman, I say unto thee, except an each be born again, see what he, he said? cannot see the Malkuth of Allahim. Y'all paying attention. Except the Ish be what was again? Be born again. Tell him what's gonna happen. He cannot see the Malkuth of Elohim. Y'all understand that? Y'all really, how many y'all don't understand that? That's good. That's one, two people. So everybody else got it. Three, four people. We ain't got it. So let me see the hands of everybody that got it. They'll understand it. Everybody said, I'm just, how many y'all just in the middle? So you wear safety, like, if you see something you ain't see, you like, yeah, like I said. <laughs> Ain't that right? I was with him the whole time. No, 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 that's good. I'm just asking. I, I mean, it's an interesting statement. It's an interesting statement. I mean, that's, that's a really interesting statement that's made right now. Except that he should be born, what was it again? Again? Be born again. He can do what? He cannot see the Malkuth of Elohim. You got it? A little bit. That's good. We, when you were speaking, he said, oh, hang on. I said, you got it? He said, oh, a little bit. That's what, I, he don't realize we already have been there. He probably was at the commercial break. No, that's fine. But, you, you, but this, this is the kind of thing we got to do is in kind of engaging 
It's a little different because typically you don't ask and people don't say. We would talk, you don't say. If you don't know, just pray, son. For all y'all that don't know, just pray. Just pray. If it's for you, the Lord give it to you. People have told us a lot of bad information. The purpose of the coming so we can get an understanding. Right? That's the whole purpose of coming, get an understanding. When I talk about and when we look at this a little more, it, I, I really look at the real, the real fact of the matter is I went to church for years, even here, and done and did things, but you really don't understand how does it actually work when you get on the outside. That's a lot of stuff you can feel like you kind of got in here, but if it can't work past them doors for me, I really, I've been with you. I, I can't use it. I can't use it. I just be on It's something that I just can't use it. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be a waste of time. Y'all got it? I need something to help me to understand and comprehend why am I resisting things? Because you know what happens a lot of people? You can get people and teach, teach them a little right. Don't touch this. Don't sit down. Don't walk over here. Don't speak. Don't do. But if you don't have an understanding how that actually entails anything for you, eventually you're going to get questioned. Eventually you're going to get challenged. And eventually you'll walk away. Eventually you'll walk. It is. Because, I mean, you really just, why do you think people quit? Really, what am I doing it for? Because some man said don't do it. So, I mean, we really have to make sure of why you're doing what you're doing. You want to know why you're doing what you're doing. This man talking about, except the man be born again, he cannot, what was it again? He cannot see the Malkuth of Allah. He can't even see it. What happened? Nicodemus said unto him, how can an each be born when he is old? See that? He want to know that. You been living? He looking at, at it couldn't be a young man asking. He didn't ask how can a man be born once he's been born based on how James Version is written. I don't know what it might say in the Greek. But he asked him when a man get old, how can he be born again? What happened? How can a man be born when he is old? What can happened? he enter the second time into his mother's womb See and that? be born? You hear that? Y'all hear that? He, now he asked the question. I mean, how do we understand things as a man? Let's see. Let's pick it up. First Corinthians chapter. What is it? One, two. two. First Corinthians chapter two, verse six. Right, quick, please. That's an interesting conversation that he sparked right here. Interesting conversation. It really is. I know y'all got it already. How many of y'all done read this before? The third chapter of the book. How many of y'all done read it so many times or heard it read so many times you ain't got to count how many times you heard it? I just check. Listen, well, just add this to the repertoire. There's another time you done read it. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 6. Listen to the book. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. See that? He said, how, be, how is it that we speak wisdom among them that are what? Perfect. Even what happened? Yet yeah, not the wisdom of the Arats. See that? Not the wisdom of the Arats. Of the Arats. What happened? Nor of the Sharim of the Sarats that come to naught. What happened? But we speak the wisdom of Elohim. Even the what? In a mystery. See that? He said we speak it in a hidden truth. In a hidden truth. That's what it is. I mean, that's what I, I remember kind of coming up on. You hear mystery. What do you what kind of your mind you hear mystery? Who? T V Salvation? Show. Unsolved mystery. What? TV show. TV I thought show. about Nancy Drew, Hardy right. Boy. Those were mystery stores. Y'all remember that? Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boy? Those were big. Who that? Some people never learn. That's not no mystery. Everybody know that was Andre the Giant. Y'all remember that when uh, Six Million Dollar Man just come on? Andre the Giant played Bigfoot. He didn't know that. That's not no mystery. We saw that. Right here on this show. <laughs> but, but typically when you hear certain things, it doesn't really kind of spin your mind off to think about it. So you just think it's, mystery means something to me that you just got to just kind of figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Just something you just, you know, just kind of got to just figure it out. But this is not something you just kind of got to be figured out. It's got to be somebody got to be able to reveal it to you. Y'all got it? Sure. Well, we know that according to our writing. He said, surely Yahuwah doeth nothing, but he revealed his, what was it? Not his hidden true. To his orbit. Y'all? Well, it say, what does it say, 4 and 20? Let's see what it say, 4 and 26. Uh, Barashit. 
I'm sorry. Um, ooh, all I, all, all I had that they call it Deuteronomy 4 and 28. Let's say that one right quick. You can hold what you got over there, and then we'll come back. All aha, dabarim. These are the words. See what this side here. Listen to the book. And there ye shall serve Elohim and the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, nor eat nor smell. See that? Neither see nor hear nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek Yahuwah the Elohim. See that? If from thence you shall seek Yahuwah the Elohim. Thou shalt find him. See that? If you seek him, he said you shall find him. What happened? If thou seek him with all thy heart and with uh -huh. all thy soul. Yeah. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to Yahuwah thy Elohim, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. What happened? For Yahuwah thy Elohim is a merciful Elohim. Yeah. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swore unto them. What happened? For as now of the Yamim that are past, yeah. which were before thee, since the Yum that Elohim created each upon the Arats, mm -hmm. and as from the one side of Shamayim unto the other, whether there hath been any such thing as this great thing is, yeah. or hath been heard like it, did ever people hear the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire, mm -hmm. as thou hast heard and lived? What happened? Or hath Elohim essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, mm -hmm. and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors, according to all that Yahuwah your Elohim did for you in Mitzrayim before your eyes. Yeah. Unto thee it was shewed, yeah. that thou mightest know that Yahuwah, he is Elohim. Yeah. There is none else beside him. Y'all see that? He said that you might know that he is Elohim. And there's what else? There is none else beside him. See that? none else beside him. What else happened? Out of Shamayim he made thee to hear his voice, yeah. that he might instruct thee. And upon Aratz he shewed thee his great fire. Yeah. And thou heardest his Dabarim out of the midst of the fire. Mm -hmm. And because he loved thy fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them, and brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Mitzrayim, yeah. to drive out nations from before thee greater and mightier than thou art, mm -hmm. to bring thee in, to give thee their land for an inheritance, as it is this Yum. Mm -hmm. Know therefore this Yum, and consider it in thine heart, that Yahuwah, he is Elohim and Shamayim above, yeah. and upon the Arats beneath, there is none else. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee this Yum, that it may go well with thee, and with thy Bani after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy Yamim upon the Arats, which Yahuwah the Elohim giveth thee Hold forever. On, what is it, Batman, what is it, 26? Really does nothing, was it, 26? Oh. Three and six. Uh, Moose three and six, Amos, they call it. Uh, Moose. Make it three and five. Amos, they call it. Listen. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the Arats where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the Arats and have taken nothing at all? Shall a shofar be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Mm -hmm. Shall there be evil in the city and Yahuwah have not done it? Yeah, listen. Surely Yahuwah Elohim will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the Nabi'im. Yeah, look at us now. So now, in, in, in taking that, we've got to start to look at how important their five positions. I mean, even when you look at a man like uh, each like Mushan, they even asked us about when you heard that all his people would be Nabaim. For what purpose? So he can reveal it to us. We don't even understand the importance that we're sitting here and we're getting information and understanding information of things to come. This put us in a different they put us in a different position than other people. So this is how important it is for us to separate ourselves or to associate ourselves with this covenant that he set for us and keeping ourselves in line with it.
There's a lot of people that's not going to catch this. There's a lot of people that's going to be cut off in the midst of what, what's going on now. A lot of people are going to get thrown off. A lot of people are going to get pulled to the side. A lot of people are going to indulge into some other thing. They're going to find themselves on our side. There's only going to be a particular few people that he's going to even save. And in the of fact, he even chose us. You don't know that? Let's look at something. I had, since I read something, I just thought about something. See this, Oriah 6 and 6 and 12. Let's see why. Because he read something that threw me off. I didn't want it. I was in the wrong place. But something else hit my mind, too. Oriah 6 and 12. They call it Luke. 6 and 12. Listen to the book. And it came to pass in those Yamin that he went out into a mountain to Palal. You said, what, what happened now? That he went out into a mountain to Palal. Y'all hear what he did? He went out to pray. What happened? And continued all Layla and Palal to Allahim. What happened? And when it was June, he called unto him his Methodist. Y'all see what he did? When it was noon. When it was noon? Yoon. Yoon. When it was day, he called him his Methodist. What happened? And of them, he chose 12. You said, what happened? And of them, he chose 12. What did he do? Whom also he named apostles. You know what? I wonder did he start to choose anybody else. I wonder when he called on them that he started to get anybody else. Because I know that Yahuwah, he never even started to get nobody else. <clears throat> he even tried to tell them one time. He said, you didn't choose me, I chose you. He didn't even think about getting nobody else. If you were sitting back and you'd have been like number 14, or 16, and that's so close to 12, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't going to get you anyway. Never even started to get nobody else. Can you imagine he had no idea? He never even started because hitherto his opera work and he worked too. All those people he called in the union, and all you got to imagine all them people coming, you thinking, I know it. You know, I woke up this morning. Some said, the day is your lucky day. And you didn't get picked. Never even thought about picking you. Can you imagine that? Sometimes we will look at things or how we might think it's an accident or how we might have came or how things might happen. Some of us came through other people. Some of us were convinced or introduced to other people. But he had no intent of getting them. I was trying to get you. And the only way to do it, at the book, he said, being crafty, I caught you with guile. I knew what you liked. I knew what you liked. Y'all actually think he put a tree in the garden and didn't know what he was doing? Y'all actually think this man put a tree in the garden and he didn't know what he was doing? I already knew what you were going to do. The only way to get them to him, I had to get you to something you like. That's what he noticed. Let's pick it up, three and one. I already had barrel sheet up him. I don't want to use that one yet. I won't use Barashit, I'll use another one. I'll leave this one for another time. Barashit. I didn't say I wasn't going to use it now. I just not going to use that one now. I want Barashit 2 and 16 first. I'll try to get y'all out of the way. I ain't supposed to be up here. Well, see that? There again. Look like it was an accident, huh? Accident. You know, you just got to think about Mr. Yahoo, how he works. You got to figure, somebody at some point, a man, decided that looking at, over the course of time, people doing things, things happening. I'm going to start an insurance company. And what I'm going to do, now people wouldn't have known nothing about insurance. But how insurance would have worked, and you will be like the people that would never know anything about insurance. I'm going to set something up to where, let's say, if Leon is driving, and he looked off, or a, a, a lug nut flew off his car, or he punctured a tire, went off the road, and hit Abraham. Injuring Abraham to where Abraham will be out of commission. Abraham has a family. This is Abraham's only, only vehicle. I could step in with the company that I formed, depending on what plan Leon picked up with me. I can fix Leon's car, 
pay for Leon medical bills, fix Abraham's car, put some money in Abraham's pocket and put him back to where he was before. I'll start a company to do that. I want to get something like that from Because I'm believing, and you know a lot of times some people have came up from insurance. They have. I was just thinking about somebody I could think of hand. Um, EU. He wound up having his kids murdered, all his animals and his livestock taken, which is livelihood, stripped down, and then come work. His policy even had a disability plan where it paid while he was injured. And then he wound up getting a supplemental check once he got back to full capacity that wound up getting the man double everything. It was insurance policy. We mean, in Mr. Yahuwah looking down saying, you're going to wind up injuring somebody yourself. And you're going to need a policy that's going to be able to cover you and make things right with whoever you messed things up with before. Putting everybody back home. You know, when Yahushua came down to see the man, you know what he asked? That's the purpose of insurance. Insurance, they don't realize when you're in an accident, what insurance was supposed to do is come back to put you back where you were. Let me get you back where you were. You was riding, you were driving down the street, mind your business, Leon, whatever he was doing, not paying attention, texting, on the phone, weaving, looking down, reading a book on the stairwell, laughing and playing, cooking up Zamara with a real stove sitting there left while he's driving. And he done injured a person. That insurance part is supposed to get in and say, listen, we going to handle this. I don't even want you to talk with him. I'm going to take care of this whole thing. And I'm going to go ahead and get with this person and let him know that I'm the person that insured. He's my insured. Anything you need to get, anything you lost, you get with me. I don't even want you to talk to him. I want you to get with me. Kind of like Yahushua. I guess insurance would kind of be, would you say, like a mediator? That's somebody that would get in between or in between two parties and they would help to sell the debt. Let's try to get this back to where it's a mutual understanding that he's whole, he's gone, and you can keep doing what you were doing. I covered him in that fall. I covered him. Y'all kind of got that situation. They could only got it from Mr. Yahuwah. They could only thought about it because Mr. Yahuwah. How else will we understand it? Somebody got to come because once he hit or strikes this person, there's a debt to be paid. Even when they lock a man or woman up and incarcerate them, the whole thing is about paying your debt to society. Because once you've done that, you've incurred a debt. And that debt has to be paid, and you owe it to the people. So when you go to jail or prison, you're essentially paying your debt to society. You old man. You old people. Y'all all right? A lot of us should have been in jail. But Mr. Yahuwah saw fit to give us some insurance. Well, the media not only just came and covered it, he went to prison for it. He covered it in every aspect and every way. We'll look at some things. Don't worry. Let's look at Barashit 2.16. They get me three and one, then we'll roll through him a little bit. Because we don't left topic and subject, then we got 1 Corinthians 2 and 6. And we still got to figure this whole thing out about this being born again. That all you said you know itself about five people. Right? Everybody said they already understood it, right? Listen, listen. Listen to the book. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded the east, saying, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of Taub and Rasha thou Why? shalt not eat of it. Why? For in the yum that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. That's good. We understand that, right? Do we understand it? We do understand what we were just told right now. All right. Let's see what happened at 3 and 1. Barashi, they call it Genesis. Barashi. Genesis, they'll call it chapter 3 and verse 1. Listen to the book. Now the Nakash was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahuwah Elohim had made. Yeah. And he said unto the Isha, Yea, hath Elohim said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. See that? He said, Had, you, had he said, You shall not eat of all the trees of the garden? What happened? And the Isha said unto the Nakash, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. See that? We may eat of the trees of the fruit of the garden. Listen. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Y'all hear that? 
or the tree that's in the midst of the garden. What happened? Allahim hath said, what did he say? Ye shall not eat of it. What happened? Neither shall ye touch it. Listen, what happened? Lest ye die. Mm. What happened? And the Nakash said unto the Asha, Ye shall not surely die. For Allahim doth know that in the yum ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. And? And ye shall be as Allahim, Doing what? knowing Taub and Rasha. And what happened? And when the Asha saw that the tree was Taub for food, what and happened? that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, what did she, do? she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and, what did she do? and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And what did happen? And the eyes of them both were open, and, what did they do? and they knew that they were naked. What happened? And they sewed fig leaves together and, and made themselves aprons. See that? That's what happened. That's what they did. So they didn't believe it. it was a shame. They became confounded. What else they were going to do? What else are they going to do? They became confounded. What is going to happen? You commit sin. You're going to be put out in a situation. And that's what we got insurance for. But it was all the work for the self same purpose of salvation. People just don't know. That's all. It is. First Corinthians, we'll finish up chapter 2. So I can get this. Your Ukanon chapter 3 and verse. When we left out verse 2 and 3, I try to get out y'all way. Listen to the book. Albeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. See that? He want to know how is it we speak wisdom among them that are what was it? Perfect. Perfect. Listen. Yet not the wisdom of this arise. See that? Yet not the wisdom of this arise. Nor of the shereem of this arise. Yeah. That come to naught. What happened? But we speak the wisdom of Allahim in a mystery. See that? And a hidden truth. Hidden truth. What happened? Even the hidden wisdom, which Elohim ordained before the rots unto our kaboo. See that? What happened? Which none of the shereem of this arats knew. What happened? For had they known it, what would have happened? They would not have crucified the Adonai of kaboo. But what happened? But as it is written, what happened? I have not seen, See that? I have not seen, nor ear heard, what happened? Neither have entered into the heart of each. The things which Elohim hath prepared for them that love him. They had no idea. They had no idea. Can you imagine that? They had no idea. Isn't that right? Because she had said Elohim had said. So she could say what he said. What, what, what would happen? That means she had to hear something. Huh? She had to hear something. Listen. But Elohim hath revealed them unto us by his Ruach. Yeah, that's how we get it. Revealed it to us by his Ruach. What happened? For well, the Ruach searches all things. Yea. The deep things of Elohim. That we might do what? For what each knoweth the things of each. See that? That's why we had these conversation about so many natural things that we do and we come across. Because he realized something. We're natural beings. for saw. Flesh. And what are we going to understand? Things that's of the flesh. It's only going to make sense we're going to understand that. Listen. But what each knoweth the things of each, save the Ruach of each which is in him. Who knoweth? Listen. Even so the things of Elohim knoweth so no each. Even so the things of Elohim knoweth no each. What happened? But the Ruach of Elohim. What happened? Now we have received not the Ruach of the Arats. But what? But the Ruach which is of Elohim. So what reason? That we may know the things that are freely given to us of so Elohim. What happened? Which things also we speak, not in the Dabarim, which each wisdom teaches, what? but which the Ruach HaKadosh, Ruach HaKadosh teaches, comparing Ruach, Ruach things with Ruach. See that? That's what we're doing. We also use the terminology comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But that's what we're learning now. We learn how to compare things so we can get an understanding of uh, just how this works for us from the Ruach. Y'all all right? I don't know, y'all look so dazed and confused. Let's look again at three and one. Your Ukanon, son of their caller. Listen to the book. Continue to verse 3. Yeah, verse 3, yeah. Yahushua answered and said unto him. First statement. We find out what happened. 3 and 1 be fine. Listen. There was an each of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Yahudim. Yeah. 
the same came to Yahushua by night and said unto him, Teacher, we know that thou art a teacher come from Elohim. Yeah. For no each can do these miracles that thou doest, except Elohim be with him. What happened? Yahushua answered and said unto him, Aman, Aman, I say unto thee, except in each be born again, he cannot see the Malkuth of Elohim. What else? Nicodemus saith unto him, How can an each be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yeah. Yahushua answered, Aman, Aman, I say unto thee, except in each be born of water and of the Ruach, he cannot enter into the Malkuth of Elohim. Mm. Wow. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, yeah. and that which is born of the Ruach is Ruach. That's good. Y'all got that? Y'all understand that too? How many of y'all don't understand? I mean, you read it though, you heard it. But you have heard it. So you hadn't understood it. Or you did understand it. You're thinking now you're being set up. So it's safe to say you've never understood it. Is that what some of us are doing? Raise your hand for that one. You've understood it, but you're thinking. Something else, and he's going to wind up tripping me up. That's not the goal to trip you up all the time. That's 99.9% of the time. <laughs> it's just when you listen to stuff, and, and I guess I ask, because I like to be honest. If we don't know, the best thing to do is let's find out. So we got on a second. You can read stuff, you get, oh, deep, profound, pathetic. It's pathetic. Because it's just getting done, what they call it, probably pathetic. Isn't that right? And, and, and for the simple fact that, um, a lot of things said to us, we just kind of take it. You just kind of keep running. It's something in it, but we want to be able to try to make sure we got to understand it. That's the main thing. I mean, you're talking about being born again, and Nicodemus brought some points. How do you understand birth? Natural, and how do you understand natural birth? By a woman. That's right, by a female, right? Well, pretty much that's how we understand it. From the natural, but we didn't realize a man could also come through by a man. Adam taught us that. Adam taught us that. Right? Y'all all right? Yeah. You don't have to be homosexual to bear. It is, you're going to have to call all trees gay. Because trees bear fruit. Y'all all right? And he said whose seed was... So it's not hard to see something generating from itself without being from a female status. And yet it bear. He even told Abraham, it said to Abraham and to his what? Was the promises made. And we learned about seeds when he dealt with the trees, when he dealt with the, with the grass of the fields. That's when we dealt with a lot of seed. We didn't deal with seed from man first. We dealt with understanding seed from plant and trees. Right? Can you imagine that a tree can bear from itself? So it's hard for people to understand Elohim but getting the sun. From himself. But they can see a tree do that. So when does a tree get pregnant? Who impregnates a tree? So the only way you need to know this because all the arguments you're going to get from people and they're going to get you on things that you don't understand. The book teaches us at 117. Who know what I want? Romans. Let's say that what I want. Make it 116 Romans. Listen to the book. For I am not ashamed of the debar of Mashiach, for it is, it is the power of Elohim unto salvation. He wasn't ashamed. See that? He wasn't confounded, confused about it. Isn't that right? He said, it's the power. Of what? Of Elohim. Oh, to who? Unto salvation. To who? Everyone that believeth. See that? To the who? Yehudi first. And? Also to the Greek. What does happen? For therein is the Sadiq of Elohim revealed Go from... Go ahead. But here is the righteousness of Elohim revealed from how? From Amunah to Amunah. That's where it's going to work from. Listen. As it is written. What happened? The Sadak shall live by Amunah. You said what law? For the Sadak shall live by Amunah. Listen. For the wrath of Elohim is revealed from Shamayim against all uh, Rasha. 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 R
Russia, evil, wicked. What is it? And and, and Russia of Anashim. Russia, who, Russia. <laughs> <laughs> like piece of pizza. Like little Caesar. Go ahead. Who hold the Amant in Russia? Yeah. Because that which may be known of Allahim is manifest in them. Wow. For Allahim hath shewed it unto them. For the invisible things of him. You said what now? For the invisible things of him. The invisible things of him. From the creation of the Arats. Is what? Are clearly seen. Are we seeing it? He's saying something unseen is clearly seen. Son, something unseen is clearly seen, though. Y'all all right? Even he's talking about right to Kazum and make it plain. Ain't that right? Something that will almost be invisible to the people. Write it and make it plain that they can see it. That's what we're here for. We're looking at, you're arguing points, or we argue points, even if you're arguing with yourself. You're arguing the points based on what other people have told you and what they know as a truth. Their belief of it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. If a child is born, it's going to come through by a male and a woman. Nothing can bear of itself. But then they got all these trees around here bearing. Just go out there and find an apple tree and get pregnant. Walk up and see who gets who who has sex with an orange tree. No matter what a nasty freak. Isn't that right? So it's not impossible for us to kind of comprehend the the the, the knowledge of that Yahuwah can bear of himself. Huh? Yahushua told us that he came out from the album. But we learned in Barashit when he told all of the uh, all of the uh, the us uh, that they were gonna bring forth fruit. Or they were supposed to yield. And he said, whose seed was, it has the ability to do it. Now if he can give a tree the ability to bear fruit of itself, you tell me the Abba couldn't do the same? All right. That's asking a question. I'm just curious about some of this stuff. That you're going to get people in, and people are going to indulge you in conversation and argument. You weren't there. But whatever it is they believe, they believe from a man. Right. Nobody will argue you or argue with you about what you believe, and they don't have facts from a man. Not one of them. Everybody going to argue with you. They're going to have facts that they done took from a carnal man. From a carnal man who can't prove nothing more than when they were born. And that's going to be <laughs> argumentative. Who their mom and dad is argumentative. I left there's an exact ex replica, exemplary of who they look like. Some will be unsubstantiated, unfounded, and they'll believe it. And they're going to argue down, and they'll get you to move from what you believe. Just like this being born again. Because we do know we can't go back into your mother's womb right the second time, don't we? I'm asking. All right, let's see. Let's finish. Third chapter? Yes, sir. Three and one. Oh, no. Three and three. Let me just hit again, please. Your Ukanine, three and three. Listen. Yahusha answered and said unto him, Aman, Aman, I say unto thee, except in each be born again, he cannot see the Malkuth of Elohim. Yeah. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can an each be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahusha answered, Aman, Aman, I say unto thee, except in each be born of water and of the Ruach, he cannot enter into the Malkuth of Elohim. Y'all hear that? What happened? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. What happened? And that which is born of the Ruach is Ruach. See that? That's what we're looking at. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Ruach is Ruach. What does it say? Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. See that? What happened? The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Ruach. That's good. That's good. Now look at some Barashi, please. Mm. Put one, two. Mark chapter. Hmm. 
Baruchot chapter 15, verse 16. You got me, Barashit chapter 2 at verse 6. Listen to the book. But there went up a mist from the Arantz and watered the whole panim of the ground. And Yahuwah Elohim formed each. Watered the whole panim of the ground. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah Elohim formed each of the dust of the ground. And he formed each from the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of Kai. And what did he do? And each became a living nefash. What happened? And Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden eastward in Eden. What and did he do again? Planted a garden eastward in Eden. And what happened? And there he put the Ish whom he had formed. Can I ask y'all a question? Did anybody pay attention to how he was created? Yep. He was created from water and from Ruach. That's right. He told you that the man was born again. He could not enter. And he couldn't see. Well, he created the man on the outside. He made him wet first. They're like, you got to be immersed. He also created him with the Ruach. He told you to set the man that born again. Let it come back to the same creation. That's how he got in. Only way you need to know that because he was declaring the beginning at the end. Everybody that was going to get into the Malku was going to be born of the of Mayim. They were also going to be born of the Ruach. That's what he told y'all. That's why I asked y'all, did y'all understand? Was this the same concept y'all had? Because I'm curious, when you, when you read that, who did you know done this? Who did you know were born of Ma'in and of Ruach that seen and went in? That's why I was asking, I wonder, did you really understand that? He said, except you were. Nicodemus want to know to going back to being a natural man again. That's not going to get you in. Y'all all right? 15, 16. Right quick, Mark, chapter 15. Verse 6, I'm sorry, 16, 15. Other brother gonna give me first Corinthians. Forty seven. Listen to the book. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the Arats and preach the debar to every creature. Y'all see what he did? He said he told them to go ye where was again? Into all the Arats. You said he told them to go into all the garden? Into all the Arats. I said garden. And what did he say? And preach the debar to every creature. Who could Adam be talking to? What people? I know they might put creature. Let's just go with what he had in the garden though. Listen what happened. He that believeth and is immersed shall be saved. That's how important it is for you to be immersed. That's how important it is. Because you ain't going to be able to enter in. You're not going to be able to enter in. There's no way you're going to be able to get in. You have to have it. That's how important it is. That's how he got in. What he told us would have made sense. You thought, this is why he had a problem this man being a ruler. You, he looking at you teaching people and you don't understand this. He looking at you, you're actually instructing people you don't understand this. Listen. But he that believeth not shall be damned. What I'm saying. You ain't gonna be immersed, you ain't gonna get the rule out, you're gonna be down. That's how he got in, that's how he saw it. He went in it and he seen it. That's what we gotta do. Y'all alright? First Thessalonians 4. 4 and 11. Then give me 1 Corinthians 15, 47. What am I fat? Hold that first Thessalonians. Give me 4 and 12. Give me uh 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Fifteen forty seven. You ain't get out your way. Listen to the book. 
the first. first. Oh, oh yeah, race for it. <laughs> <laughs> the first ish is of the Arats. You said the first ish is what? Of the Arats. The, what is he? What Earthy. is the first ish? Earth. Isn't that right? Earth. What happened? The second ish. The second ish is the Adani from Shamayim. See that? The second one is the ish from Shamayim. Listen. As is the Arats. As is the who? Arats. So are who? Such are they also that are of the Arats. That's us. We be worldly. We too worldly to get in. Just like he is. When he got worldly, he had to get out. When you worldly, you can't get in. That's why he wouldn't let him back in. World can't make it in now. So we understand the concept now. Being born of Mayim, born of the Ruach, and they say water and spirit, you can enter and see. <clears throat> he did that. But once he became, and we call it worldly, sinner, he had to get out. Not only did he have to get out, there was something set there to keep him from getting in. Now, Yahushua came along and gave us the code of how to get back in. He said, this ain't hard. All you got to do, Candy, is die and be born again. You can get in. That's how important it was for you to know what happened in Barashi. Is this the same concept y'all had with the third chapter of the book of Yehudah? Some of y'all raised, whoever people that raised their hands said they understood it. Was this the same concept y'all had? Because, you know, say, it just amazed. We kind of just, kind of go down the road with stuff. We just read stuff. We just kind of go and go. But I'm listening to the man talking. He asked me, because it only makes sense. I mean, the man talking about being born again. I know he's not talking about going back in. Damn. Right? That wouldn't make sense. You've already proven that one out, and it failed. Now, Adam's symbolic birth, creation, show how a man and a woman get in. Hmm? Him being born, and we call of the flesh, well, we recognize him more or less in the flesh from when sin. Y'all got me? We'll look at his first birth, creation, symbolic for us as being born again. Y'all got me? Simply because he got in and he saw. Got me? Guess what he didn't have? Mother and father. These are worldly connections. He got in with Donald. He wasn't born of that. Y'all got it? And he got in. So now we're going to look at what's our connection. What's going to be our connection for us to get in? We got to follow the same like pattern. Same like pattern. How many of y'all been immersed? You really know why you just did it because that's what it said. But actually, it makes sense when we look at it. He said there was a mist. And guess what it water? The whole pani. So that means he took a man from water. From my end. This was something like important. A wild man or one had to be immersed. And now all he would need is what? The Ruach. This would be the seal of what it was set for each or uh, on a sheet or uh, a shah to get into and to actually see the kingdom. And they would call it the Mount Kut, the empire for us. That's how important it would be for us to look at that. How many times you read this in the book of Barashit, the second chapter, 2 and 6? How many got a number? How many times? How many you read it numerous times? How many you never looked at it like this? We weren't supposed to at one time. We went through, we got immersed, and we just did it because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what he said in the book. When he realized how important it was, this man actually got to get into. This man, how many people got in? How many people don't went to the garden? The garden that he was in. You wonder why? Because you weren't born of the Ruach. Nor was you born of no Mayim. Only makes sense. Go ask these people how many, how many people been there. How many people go there now? He keeping sinners out. You're keeping transgressors out. Y'all got it? Now, I'm looking to become a possessor of the Mount Cool. So what do I need to do? I'm going to have to be born again. So I know key ingredients what's got to happen. I got to be born of the, of the water, Mayim, and of the Ruach. Make sense? But I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to believe on it. As the scripture had said.
said. That's what allowed me to continue. That's what he said, 830 right quick. Your Ukanon. I'm going to get ready to close it up for you. There some mothers at home sitting in here. They thought some kid had to be born again. They crossed their leg. They said, no, sir. That joker won't be making it in now. <laughs> right. Nobody want to go back through that. But you can see where he came. He took the burden off the women, too. Yeah. Think about it. Now you had six of them. You had to do that again six more times so all can get in. <laughs> That's anybody. That's, that it took the burden off of us. Listen. How many of y'all love your kid, mothers? How many of y'all went, we got five? How many of you ready to go back and let all of them say, get in, let them be born again, back to back? Be like, listen, you just look, you say, listen, baby, some people just ain't meant to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> it, be it be on anybody. I mean, think about it. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's why he came and made it easy. He told me, he said, my yoke is easy. My burdens are light. Ain't that right? Took it off the woman. Took a lot off of all of us. That's right. Come on. If it went the other way, we'd be in trouble. Brother. Isn't that right? That's right. Let's see what happened. Listen. As he spake these Dabarim, what happened. many believed on him. Listen what happened. Then said Yahushua to those Yahudim which believed on him. If you do what? Continue in my Debar. Then? Are ye, then are ye my Mathetis indeed. You know what he could have said? If you believe. He could have just said if you believe. That's right. That's right. But listen what he said again. Then said Yahushua. Yahushua to those Yahudim that believe on him. If you do what? If ye continue in my Debar. Then? Are ye my Mathetis indeed? And what's going to happen? And ye shall know the Amat. And what's going to happen? And the Amat shall make you free. And what happened? They answered him, We be Abraham's seed. And were? Never in bondage to any Ish. What happened? How sayest thou you shall be made free? What happened? Yahushua answered them, Aman, Aman, I say unto you. It's of a truth I'm telling you. What? Whosoever committeth sin. Whoso do what? Committeth sin. Is the what? Servant of sin. He's an Abed, I mean, he's an Abed of the devil. He's a worker for the devil. Whoever commits sin, he worked for the devil. What else happened? And the servant abideth not in the house forever. And he ain't going to stay in there forever. That's why he had to get him out. But who? But the Ben abideth ever. So you hear that? The Ben abideth forever. You know what's amazing? Let's see what happened. Aleph, uh, Uka 9, 3 and 1. They call it First John. Three and one. Yeah, Ukanan. They call it first John. Three and one. Listen. Behold, what manner of love the Abba hath bestowed upon us. That he did what? That we should be called the Bani of Allahim. I wonder why would he do that? See that how you pick that up? That's what he's trying to figure out. What kind of what kind of affection is this? That we should be called the Beni of Allahim. Listen. Therefore, the Arats knoweth us not. When, what didn't the Arats know? What did y'all learn that the Arats didn't know? In Mishra. What did y'all find out that y'all learned that they didn't know? Shamayim. Shamayim. They didn't know the Aur. They didn't know the Aur, which would be the Shema. They didn't understand the sun. Listen to what happened. What are you saying? Therefore, what happened? The Arats knoweth us not. Why? Because it knew him not. So if it didn't understand the Shamash, you tell me it understood the Kukabin? It could understand what the stars were. It wouldn't make sense. If you didn't understand light, you couldn't understand me. If you couldn't understand him, how you understand me? Mm -hmm. It's not going to make sense. Because it said when it shined, what happened to the Arats? It comprehended it not. That's right. So when I come along with some illumination, what's going to happen? Then you're going to have, we're going to have a misunderstanding. That's right. We're going to have a lot of misunderstanding. A lot of times people work and you're trying to fix something. When people of the, of, of the world will look at it, you got to understand, they don't understand light. They don't come to light.
because their deeds will be reported. That's right. Nobody wants to be shown up. Nope. But see, hearing this goes along with what we hear in the eighth chapter. He spake these things, he spoke to those that believed on him, but he let them know they had to continue. That's the same thing we learned with Adam. He was good for what? For a while. Right. That's why we look for a more enduring substance. He said, he talked about how long you can be there. We're looking at a temporary state. We're looking at a continuum. We're looking at something to be forever. He's looking at now, uh, be, beloved, now are we the bene of? Allahim. Therefore. The Aras knew us not. Because. It knew him not. What else happened? Beloved, now are we the bene of Allahim. All he keeps telling you, he, and he only told you twice, that's your law. Hit it one time, really you can't take it. It's all law. It's all law. Why would he tell me? I heard, how many of y'all heard it the first time? But. It's second emotion just make it better. That's right. Even they have a meeting. I did me. We had one, and somebody said to me, and somebody stand up and that the minute be received and proper documentation, correction be taken. They look around. You know why? Somebody got to give it a second. That's right. Oh, you take the meeting. You know what they said? Me just accept it and record it. That's it. They That's got right. that. They got it from our law. Listen, when we sit around and we watch our dumb come down here, he don't ask that this, that this stuff be notated, documented, and it be received in the record. That's right. Lucia came in and seconded it. That's right. He had to come in second. That's right. Ain't that right? He's seconded saying, I agree. That's right. That's why the scripture can't be broken. That's right. Everything was said. I don't just came on letting know the first time. Listen, he went saying everything that was said, stated, and done should be taken down and received in any proper document, any proper correction, documentation be made to it. And they just been waiting on somebody to come along with you. Who should can? He told her, Lord, I come. That's all we've been waiting the whole time. Somebody come on the second. That may say, how many of y'all ever did minutes before the meeting? How many of y'all have seen that drug? One person could just let the minute be received and mm -hmm. take it. They typically got to get two. That's right. Typically, you got to get at least two to take it in. Somebody go ahead and say, I agree. Y'all all right? That's why we're taking it in the record. Don't worry about it. We just all off. But then he can't make it told you twice. But look, now we'd have been near Allahim. That doth not yet. What was it again? Up here. What? What we shall be. But we do what? No. When who? That when he shall appear. What will happen? We shall be like him. Why? For we shall see him as he is. And what happens? And every each that hath this hope in him. Doth what? Purify himself. Even in who? He is pure. That's how I got myself right. I got to have that hope. And I'm yes. getting that hope from what I learned from the scripture. Going back, looking at all the different behavior and taking them in for record, just like they said, sourcing what it is I believe, able to verify what it is I'm believing. That's what helped me to actually set, establish I'm a nah. Don't worry about it. Back to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 47. 15, 47, if I can get to. So I take this stuff on the road somewhere. Somebody be glad to hear this. They'd be glad to hear it. I ain't many people rush around with what they call John 3. All these people do is kill time. I want to listen. No, I'm in no way at all saying everybody need to come hear me. I don't believe that. I believe they're going to hear somebody like me. Though. That's right. That's right. Uh, somebody standing. They ain't got to be funny. Ain't no book for they got to be no funny. They, gotta, they come straight down the middle. That's right. They ain't got to have no ching ching no. They ain't got to have no book. They ain't got to have no board. That's why a lot of people get messed up. At. Yep. And they don't have a board and nobody go ching ching. They ain't right. They ain't what you're going to use to prove out no man no, right. No, sir. No, sir. He said, by their fruit. You said no. That's, every tree, that's how you're going to do it. Yes, you're sir. You're going to be known by the fruit it bear. Y'all hear That's how I'm going to look by the pari. That's how we're going to know it. Listen. The first ish is of the Arats. What happened? Earthy. And what happened? The second ish is the Adani from Shamayin. Because otherwise, we couldn't took the first man if it went for the second one. That's yeah. your law. That's right. They got to be at the mouth of two or three witnesses. That's how every the bar gonna be established. Really, you can disregard everything Adam did if he hadn't come. That's right. That's how important for him to come and say, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. He had to second it. Yes, sir. It, it is, and people don't realize how important you need it. And then you go get rid of the first law. If you get rid of the first one, then you still stuck with one. That's right. That's right. You ain't gonna line up with your law. You gotta have at least two witnesses. Yes, sir. These folks ain't gonna get in, they're gonna be condemned with the law, and he's gonna condemn them too. He's going he gonna to condemn me. He done told you. He said, my obvious one. He said, I'm the second one. He's going to be condemned either way it goes. That's yep. why you got to get right. Listen. That's right. 
as is the Arats. What happened? Such are they also that are of the Arats. See that? And they are worldly, so are they that also are worldly. What happened? And as is the Shamayim, Listen. such are they also that are of the Shamayim. See that? That's why he separated them. When he separated, he put the Shamayim, and everything going to be high. He put it above, everything below, he kept it beneath. He tried to teach us the same thing. You know that? He tried to teach us. You know when he told us at the fifth chapter of the book of uh, Matayahu, he told us that we was the Arur. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, the Arat, the Arur. You know he told we were going to do Ryan. He said you were going to reign over many, but nobody wasn't going to reign over you. Because light rule. That showed us that even he tried to teach us, don't, if you was on the Arat and you were supposed to be Arur, don't you know you had to be over everybody nobody couldn't be over you? It couldn't happen. That stuff we do now, like working over people, we, that stuff, that, y'all just don't know. It don't fit. If, how many of us over the sun? How many of us in here over the uh, Yari, they call the moon? How many of us over the Kuka Bean? Then you don't come along and tell Abraham that all his seed will be like the Kuka Bean. And I'm under people. That's tight. Even you, who should try to tell you, say, I'm from above. You from beneath. He tried to tell the people, you under me. See, these white people don't want you to look at this book like that. He won't want, listen, the fact that he sold it, man, your descendant going to be like this. Just like the sand of the sea. You ain't going to believe what Ham was saying. Water roll over it. Don't worry about it. Sand get wet. Then he told them, look at the cuckoo bean. If you could nominate them, that's how your rights are going to be. I mean, your descendants going to be your tula dog. A lot of things come in primitive for us to see ourselves. White people don't want you to see yourself like that. Listen, that's why I told you churches, religious organizations are dangerous. I don't care they call themselves Yahoo Dean, whatever. A lot of them are just dangerous for the simple fact they don't, they don't empower our people. <coughs> Everything he taught was empowering us. You tell me I come here and I, you don't know how I got here. I'm laying on the ground by the pool, and they ain't got nobody to put me in. Do you know what kind of, you know what kind of, you know what kind of turmoil this is for me? I'm laying here. As soon as this water gets, this only happens once a year. As soon as my behind, nobody put me in. Everybody get in, get here, and my behind lay him. Let you know this man will be held down by that bed. You know, sometimes people say you lay in the bed, man, think, draw your strength from it. Isn't that right? Drew his strength from it. And all of a sudden, when Yahushua come, he going to tell that man to take up his bed and walk. That's how that man, he got that thing thought. Been in power. He was showing, the thing that been holding me down, I got here. Huh? Can you imagine? Listen, that's the type of people we are. That's we subdue. When he put Adam, only thing he go, to, I tell you what coming from me. If I've been Adam, I'm like a cow's on there. Yeah, man, you think that joker took this, shoved this up him. I've been trying like, how y'all done been waving at people like this? That joker been told to subdue it. Ain't never been out moving this God. Never been out trying nothing this God. I catch a tree, a little sticker, I'm going to cut it off. Anything I catch ain't doing something, I'm going to kill it. Anything ain't post, anything like it don't mind, it don't be, I'm going to take it out of here. That man was told us to do it. He wasn't going to sit down and reason with nobody. He wasn't going to say, listen, Mr. Buffalo, I'm trying to get your attention. Old lion. He ain't got time to be talking to nobody. He'll pick it up and snap it with nothing in his hand. That man had the thought to do whatever he wanted. Listen, they don't even know why the man could do what he could do. Say the 28 and 1. Pick me up right quick. Uh, your car's a call. What a reason we got to go there. I don't do it because Mr. Yahuwah tell me. They call it Ezekiel. Yeah. Uh, it's a call. Say that 28 and 1. Hey, folks, don't know the. I'm trying to get through and get y'all out of here. Try to put the pen down. This thing ain't right. Who put my daughter law name up here? Who did this? She did, okay. Ain't nobody in here clean. Yeah, Ryan. Listen to the book. The Debar of Yahuwah came again unto me, saying, What did he say? Ben of Ish, say unto the ruler of Tyrus, Pay attention. Thus saith Yahuwah Allah. Pay attention. To the ruler of Tyree. We talked about, where's that at, Aki? Lebanon. Krakenon wants to know that. Krakenon wants to know this in Lebanon. I heard Tyree. I know where, it's, you know where Tyree was day? Probably in Tyree. <laughs> That's what I would have been. How many of y'all thought Tyree was in Tyree? I mean, where else could it be? I mean, that'd be honest. Before you knew, read it. Why would you think 
Lebanon will be in your book. When we would have went right back to the book of Yahushua, they called Joshua, and he told him where his boy was going to be. From Lebanon. But you notice how they, that's how quick white people trip you up. The only time you heard Lebanon is when he came, that's not the name, but you know this name again. They put it there when Yahushua took over after the death of Musha. That was it. He talked about some cedars or something like that, but he never told you this was your border. This is your border. Now he done came along. He done got you Jerusalem down. He said, yeah, it's the same side of California. Shut your mouth, lying cracker. That thing is still on past Lebanon. It never told us that that thing was in Aram was in Syria. When, how many of y'all were taught that our land was Syria? You were taught it when well, you grew up a different place. I would never told nothing like that. And you just, I said, why would we have out of why we have a Muslim country? That's the Muslim. That's Amram. That's your land. They never told us that. They told us Jerusalem. It's about the size of California. Because they lie. You know what your law already told you? Remove not. Why he just didn't say the landmark? Because they'll get you. Once I set it down, don't move it. If I told you the old one, go, don't remove the one I established from the first. You know what they tell you too? Don't get rid of the law. That's the only landmark I got. See, they'll mess them up, Dave. Somebody want to get rid of the law. But he told me don't remove the old landmark. That's right. That's right. You know what a landmark do? It establishes your boundaries. Yes, sir. How would I know about adultery? How would I know about murder? How would I know about covenant? If I remove the old landmark right. and let these crackers set a new one. That's right. Yep. It was important for your land, and it was important for these, that you get fall into the trap of these people telling you to get rid of the law. Yeah. Wouldn't make sense. What makes sense? Guess what happens when you get rid of the law? You're going to lose your footing. Yeah. You're going to wind up losing some space. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense to get rid of the law because it showed me just how broad my land is. That's right. And how narrow. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. It just show, listen, these people are crafty out here. Yeah. These, camps, a lot, these camps are not all by themselves. They're all because they still, a lot of our research, we have to still get it from white people. Yeah, that's right. And you got to be real careful when you deal with Because you deal with these white people, they'll teach it to you in such a way. You'll look like something's gone. Yeah. Get rid of something. Don't make sense. Nope. It definitely wouldn't make sense when he told you that we asked them, have you understood? What was it again? Oh. Have you understood? What was it again? Oh. Have you understood what again? Oh. Why would I ask you three times? That's your law. Oh. What makes sense to ask you one? Everything is concrete off of your what? Your law. That's right. He said then, he said then, every man. That's instructed into the, the Mount Kutha Allahim. Don't forget how you got to get in now. You got to be born of the water, Mayim, and of the Ruach. That's instructed on how to get there. It's like a man that's a householder. Yes, sir. Which taking out of his treasure some things and, oh. and I got rid of love. That's the landmark. That's right. Don't make sense. Wouldn't make sense. So what am I be going to my treasure getting? Right. Right. Wouldn't make sense to get rid of it. Everything he said predicated on it. Through the law is how I understand the dispensation of con that they call great. That's the only way I understand it. If you got rid of the law, I'm going to, it's not grace to me unless I see it as a favor, some undeserved. And I'm going to see that simply because what's been predicated from the law. But listen, hold about it. I, I'll teach you. I, I take it to you. Bitch, you who will see fit. I watch, when I get through, you ain't never seen it. Mm. Okay, you ain't never seen it. I'm going to ask you, and you, don't you lie. Put your hand and say you understood. You ain't never seen it before. Right. I'll show it to you. That's right. I'll show it with Jane version. They ain't going to be able to get by. That's right. Nobody's going to get by. Ain't this thing ain't right. I can show you how both of them walk together. Listen, they can't stop it. They can't stop it. I know it's right. I just take my time. When Mr. Hood get ready, he said, that's how it go. I said, that's it. Yes, sir. That's it. I know it right. That's right. Let's see what happened over here. Let's see how much sense that make to you. This is the 28 chapter book of your cause of call. 28, you already read verse 1. Oh, this is still at verse 1. Continue to verse 2. Yes. Thus saith Yahuwah Allahim. Yeah. Because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am an Allahim. What happened? I sit in the seat of Allahim in the midst of the seas. Y'all pay attention. Y'all pay attention then. He sit in the seat in the midst of the seas. What was yeah. that? Nahar? I think yam is yum. one word. Yum. 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 
You say Yamim? Yamim is plural. Y U M. Yah. Y Yah Mim. I mean Y A M M M M. So I guess you should say Y M Y. Yes, sir. Or just M M. M M. And then if it's plural, sometimes you say Yamim. So basically, you're saying we have been M and M. Are y'all with us? See how important it is to know that these folks don't know that. Not in mouth, not in hand. Why you think you hush with the cancer? Look at his hand. Could this be? Please, I'm just, don't do that. Don't take it out. These folks are, I'm telling you, it's been M and M. You just say Y A M. Yum. Y A M. Yes. Yum. But see, Nahar be River Naha. C C M M, right? For plural. Listen. Y'all got that? I tell you one time for yam. Oh, no, God, I'm talking about eating yam. So you've been telling me you've been eating the sea? <laughs> Mama was sitting back there <laughs> Yeah. Nine hundred, nine nine thousand, three hundred. Three hundred even. I had a million of these things. Thank you, Palm. <laughs> no, listen. Check this out. Listen. Yet thou art an Ish and not Allahim. See what he said? He said, but he said, but you are Ish and you're not Allahim. Listen there. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of Allahim. Pay attention. Though thou set thyself, though thou set thy heart as the heart of Allahim, which is the law of L A B, what happened? Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. Pay attention. Y'all hear that? You said what happened now? Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. And what happened? There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Mm -hmm. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, what happened? thou hast gotten thee riches, yeah. and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. Yeah. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches, by and thine trade. heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? What happened? That traffic and trade. You know what's amazing? Because white people picked up a charge if you're moving drugs. It's called a trafficking. When you're moving a lot of drugs, because you typically getting rid of drugs for money. That's amazing. They put words like that in that translation, and they charge people today. And you know who they usually charge with that charge? Black, Black people. For trafficking. They can get you for trafficking people, yep. trafficking drugs. Yep. We've, been, we've been trading a long time. A long time. He said, by your trading, you don't got yourself a lot of stuff. Yes, sir. Listen. Therefore, thus saith Yahuwah Elohim. Because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Allahim, yeah. behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, yeah. the terrible of the nations, yeah. and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. Hold on, what kind of people are this again? Strangers upon thee. You the, said strangers will be some people we don't know. What well, how? The terrible of the nations. You talking about, because that was Romans and Greeks that took it. I'm probably going to try to see if I can learn some more Greek. <laughs> Romans. Some more Latin too. How we learning because you got to kill these dirt and rotten crackers? I tell you the truth. They don't want to talk. White people don't want you to look at stuff like nope. that. Nope. This is the, they'll put terror. And you know how to smooth they are, too? In their translation, they'll put you who when they say awesome. They'll say terrible. Yeah. So you're missing it. I'm going to bring some awesome people to you. They always try. That's, no, that's how you know the white people. They always try to make stuff look good. Huh? You look at it. Ooh, that's so. That's bad there, man. You know something bad. It's bad. Yeah. It's not good. White people change that around and make us call bad good. Yep. You know he said, whoa, the people that do that now? Yep. That's right. Man, we used to walk up, we said, ooh, ooh wait, nigga, that's a bad shirt. Yeah. They be like, is it bad? No, that's good. <laughs> they got us. Got it. Huh? Then you put the A in front of bad. What would that be, Brandon? How about That's sir. right. That's a slave shirt, nigga. That's some slave pants. Ooh, ooh. That's some bad pants. Yeah, nigga. Some slave pants. All of this slave clothes. Yeah. We got it from my master. Yeah. If I didn't make this up my own somewhere in another country, y'all would laugh at this stuff. Because it got something you call a page. I don't even know what a, who know what a page is. Who knows? It's a print. Right. But who came up with that name? And white folk make stuff and say it's expensive. Yeah. And it's nice and it's casual. Man, like someone throw raindrops on this shirt. <laughs> but because of print, that being on it. Yeah. Polo used to be, nigga got polo wet. That's just, that's just, they're doing horse thing here, kicking the joke in the ball. <laughs> Why you want horse hooves all around your private part? I'm not even putting no horse shoes in my private part. 
I turned me around and started kicking on the nigga. Yeah, right. But I'm just saying how a lot of things we say and we do, we're not really conscious of it. A lot of stuff, we, it's just what people do. Let's finish this up. Listen. The terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. Yeah. And they shall defile thy brightness. Hold what you got. Five. Uh, 53.1. Who know what I want? I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all think I'm crazy, don't you? You think I'm ignorant. You know how I know they, they think they're smart? Ain't too many books got 53 chapters. I know that, Joe. Hey, I should put Tarleen. That's smooth, though. I like how y'all work it. They want like, yeah, that's how we gotta do it. Y'all show up. Y'all show up, though. Y'all hear enough to learn, though. Yeah. They're talking about, ain't it one book got 53,000 chapters in it? All I wanna do is find your name going on this board. This is Yeshua Yahoo, chapter 53. You hold the verse you just left. What verse you left off at, Brandon? At verse 8. 28 and 8 is what it here. This is 53 and 1. But Yeshua Yahoo, they call Isaiah. Listen to the book. Who hath believed our report. Y'all see that? Who had did what? Believed our report. And what did the SD say? And to whom is the arm of Yahuwah revealed. What happened? For he shall grow up before him. And? A tender plant. And what happened? And as a root out of the gr dry ground. Mm -hmm. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. What happened? He is despised and rejected of Anashim. Mm -hmm. A ish of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we, and we hid, as it were, our faces from, from him. How many of y'all understood this? How many of y'all didn't understand this? What was that? Y'all right? I ain't gonna hit you. Yeah. I seen a movie, the guy sat and talked to the kid, had a kid, you know, he knocked that joker from the table. I said, I think I understand it now. But no, I, I mean, it's interesting what, what he just told us. It's interesting. I heard him say something. It's been <clears throat> two and one. Genesis that they call it. You know what? Why some people like watching us? Because people are tired of just, people just running stuff past them. People want to know. Like yeah. they say, hey, move. they came out with a book, a magazine for called Inquiry. So they say Inquiry minds want to know. Y'all must That's National right. Inquiry. That That's would right. be hot. That was hot. Listen, but you been sitting there, girl, stuff, you be do, 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 do. You can be sitting here, you, you mess around, you'll buy it. You get that ready, you mess around and buy it, if any read. Because they, they got you. Because you know why? Those people made a lot of money. Them, and what's the other stupid little magazine like that? National Quarter, another come on, stupid head, George Bush shaking, E.T. Fang, look like Haywood Fang. What the other? Y'all know stupid. Man, I, but I look, they ain't going to lie, pull. Listen, they're going to pull you. Because you know what? It's, they're smart. People today are very inquisitive. People don't like to share that they don't know things or they question thing because they made it look stupid. So people looking. So you got magazine, all kind of stuff in front because people want to know. People just like, they look, they're like, my skin is so big. Get it, man. They took that ugly hell for picture, got it and started spray painting, fixed the teeth and sprayed them white. You see them like this. This will never be you, nigga. Not unless you go to Earl Shy or Mako somewhere. But they, they know people just want to know, how can I look better? How can I look younger? How can my hair be long? How can I be skinny? How can, they, they, listen, they are targeting people's minds. Religions are doing it. People come out and start, listen, we're a religion where anybody just jump up the spirit and move on and just start. People think, I feel like some people, I have something to say. Come on, you guys, and none of y'all going to get no money. The fool that started, who got all them fools up talking, who going to walk out with all the money? Yeah. And have them thinking they got something. But you know what? It's a place for all that stuff. If you don't want to believe nothing, it's a place for people to do that. Because people are smart. They look at, they market you. Just like clothes and shoes and pocketbooks and other stuff. There's some people, if it ain't got a name on it or a start, they ain't going to get some people. I don't get a flying flip, but I just want something to put my stuff in. Guess what? And they got plenty of them too. Because they know everybody into the name. You just want something to put your pocket, your money. Some nigga they want to come out, it got to have a name, it got to have a shiny piece on the back. And there's some people that ain't got to have nothing. I just want a water. I ain't going to stick nothing but my check card and my license. I got a water for you too, nigga. Some people are like, I don't even like water. I lose them. 
I got a clip for you, nigga. Whatever you want, it's somebody to target you. If you want to sin, it's somebody to target you for sin. The only market you won't find is a big market for salvation. That's right. That's right. It's just like he just told you. Who had believed I reported to whom is the arm of you who have been revealed? For he should grow up before him as a tender plant. They ain't important to y'all. Let's see what happened. This is Barashi 2 and 1. They call it Genesis. Listen to the book. Thus the Shamayim and the Arats were finished. You said thus what? The Shamayim and the Arats were finished. So y'all know what this will be? This will be the genealogy. This is their genealogy. Listen. And all the host of them. And all the host, I think for them, would it be Shabam? Sabah. Sabam. Yeah, Sabah. 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 T-S-A-B-A. Yeah. Sabah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, bam! That nigga almost had. You know, we got shabam from. We were almost down. So, bam, that's going to be there. Like, they have the host. host. Like the already host. Run. We have for you, who a ho, we say sabu. Sabo. So, for them, it'd be sabam. Saba. 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 It's just Sabah. a singular host. That's right. The M, I'm picking up, actually said something. Else. The mem on the end, I picked that up. Listen. And on the seventh yom, Elohim ended his work which he had made. Listen. And he rested on the seventh yom from all his work which he had made. What happened? And Elohim barak the seventh yom and consecrated it. What happened? Because that in it he had rested from all his work which Elohim created and made. What happened? These are the generations of the Shamayim and the Arats. You said what is this again? These are the generations of the Shamayim and the Arats. What, what happened? When they were created in the yom that Yahuwah Elohim made the Arats and the Shamayim. Mm hmm and every plant of the field before it was in the Arats, and every herb of the field before it grew, for Yahuwah Elohim had not caused it to rain upon the Arats. That's good. Back at 53 and 1. It's real, Tana. 53 and 1, yes, Yahoo. Listen to the book. Who hath believed our report? So he asked you, who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of Yahuwah revealed? What happened? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Where exactly did you see them plants at? Huh? They was in the garden? He was too. He had been with the kept trying to tell us he had been with him. He had already been with him. He would give you the genealogy of him. He said before he even put him there, he was trying to show him. Yahushua was trying to tell us about his creation before he had got him. He tried to tell us that my creation before I had got him. He was trying to go back and get us to understand the fact that yes, Yahushua started telling him he's going to grow up before him as a tender plant. Who exactly, who made him? Who created him? Who put him there? So we start looking at exactly how important it was to actually understand Barashit for us. I'm mean, just listen to what he's telling us. Y'all all right? Let's see. Come on, better 53. Finish it up. And as a root out of a dry ground. And as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him. Tell me what happened. There is no beauty that we should desire him. See that? That's it. You see that? See, what drew Kaur <clears throat> was the beauty. How good looking it was. And pleasant to the eye. But when you saw him look nasty. He looked homeless. And looked like he lived outside. We'll talk about that too another day. It did. We, we should have been looking for this. We should have been looking for this. You saw what drew her? It was pleasant to the eye. A tree to be desired to make one wise. And when she saw it, she took it. She ate. And he looked, he like, wow, that does look good, baby. You've been cooking. I see you fixed something new. But when you come with what I got, we come we got, people don't want to eat that. You don't want to eat that. What else? You said, what else happened? He is despised and rejected of Anashim. Yeah. A ish of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Yeah. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. Uh huh. He was despised and we esteemed him not. What happened? Surely he hath borne our griefs. I try to tell him that a man can do what a woman can do. Born a bear. He say he begotten, he born. That's what a woman does. He'll bear too. Y'all all right? Yeah. Don't worry. That is your cause of call. 28. He left at 28 and 8. We're almost to the close. 
The cause of call, they call Ezekiel 28 and 8. We left subject battle, y'all lost. Listen to the book. They shall bring thee down to the pit. See that? They shall bring thee down to the what? Bring to the, the verse 7. Verse 7. Please. Behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee. See that? What are they going to do? Bring strangers upon thee. What happened? The terrible of the nations. See that? The terrible, the worst people you can find. Tell me about them, Brandon. And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. You said how good looking you going to look? And they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile they thy brightness. It. They missed it. They were looking for a beautiful man. One more beautiful. No, one that more pretty than their wisdom. But they were gonna miss it. You gonna be looking for something just like Kaul was looking for. But see, he was beautiful. If you had just known his wisdom, that's why they came to get him. Everybody came to get him because he was no good looking man. He was no handsome, fine looking man. Girl, he fond, girl. They came in because of wisdom. You know what they say he was doing? He was teaching all the people to yeah. forsake these people, get away from their laws. That's right. He was teaching people, and they looked at his leadership, and what he was teaching was teaching people to get up on the Greek rule. The people would call him a malak. There's no way you're going to have two set malak. One of them got to go. I don't know what the people are doing. I don't know what the people are doing. It was going, it was going to be a problem. Somebody got to go. They had enough sense that when those people came and they came out here with staffs and they came out with this different stuff, he knew why they came out. He like, they didn't come out because I was good looking. They came out because these people not smart I am. I'm teaching these people, so I'm instructing these people. These people knew exactly what he was doing. Do y'all not know how his training came in? How this man actually worked? How you think he got all of us? He know how to trade. Take my right quick, 18 and 1. You're Okanon. John had called her 18 and 1. Goodness, man, I got mad. Listen, this is Yokanon 18 and 1. Listen. When Yahushua had spoken these Dabarim, he went forth with his Methetus over the brook, said, Run, where was a garden into the which he entered in his Methetus? And Yahuda also, which betrayed him, knew the place. What happened? For Yahushua oftentimes resorted thither. With his Methodist. Y'all paying attention? Listen. Yehuda. Give me the 28th chapter of the book of the Cause of Call. 28 and about 9, I think. Yes, sir. Listen. Yehuda then, having received a band of a band of Anashim and officers from the chief Kohanim and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Listen. Yahusha, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him. Y'all hear this? He knew all things that were going to come on him. Tell him what he did. Went forth. What happened? And said unto them. Listen to what he said. Whom seek ye. He want to know who they're looking for. Wow. That's they, what I like, right? That's a real nigga. That's, that's right. What you looking for? You good, dog? That's right. <laughs> Y'all straight? Yo, over here. <laughs> they don't like that. Now listen. <laughs> listen. They answered him, Yahushua of Nazareth. And he Yahushua. lied and did what? Yahushua saith unto them, What did he say? I am he. Listen. And Yehuda also, which betrayed him, Listen, what stood happened? with them. Stood with them. What happened? As soon then as he had said unto them, What happened? I am he. What happened? They went backward. Listen. And fell to the ground. What happened? Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And what happened? And they said, Yahushua of Nazareth. He said, and what happened? Yahushua answered, I have told you that I am he. What did you do now? If therefore ye seek me, what happened? Let these go their way. That's what I'm looking at. Trafficking. Y'all didn't see that? By his trade, skill. Think about it. That man sit here and gave himself a day and got all of them. Let's see what he told y'all at 28. Your cause are called 28. At verse 9. Verse 8. Verse 8. Verse eight. I'm sorry. 28 and 8. We're getting ready to close it up for you. Listen. They shall bring thee down to the pit. Yeah. And thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Yeah. Wilt thou yet say before him that slay of thee, I am Allahim? But thou shalt be an Ish and know Allahim. What happened? In the hand of him that slay of thee. Yeah. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. Yeah. For I have spoken it. You know, what you, I, circumcised. Listen. Y'all know how the circumcised and uncircumcised wind up dying? How do we wind up finding them people out? Don't worry. 
Simeon and, and Louis showed us how to do it. As soon as he got them people circumcised, he came in and killed them. <coughs> they slain them. You know why he looked that? You might think they were circumcised. I said they weren't circumcised. According to what Shaul told him, he said circumcised is not that of the flesh, it's of the heart. That's why he killed them. I, don't know, I know what people think. They weren't circumcised. They only circumcised the flesh. If they were circumcised like we were, it would have made no sense to kill them. They didn't kill their own. When Yahusa, who stood to be over me, killed Dreamer, and they said that Dreamer wasn't going to be over them, they said they were going to put him somewhere and kill him. You know what Ruban and you know what uh, Yah uh, Yehuda said? They say no prophet, we kill our own Aki. You know why? He been circumcised. He said they're going to die to death on uncircumcised. These people did think commit sin. They're not one of us. That's why he tried to tell you. That circumcision of the flesh, these people trying to teach, they don't know what they teach. Right. It wouldn't make no sense to kill them if circumcision was of the flesh. That's right. That's Once right. all the people circumcised, they said, it meant you have been one of us. That's right. But they didn't circumcise the heart. They don't think they didn't see them. They didn't see them. They just didn't understand. That's right. Ain't they fault they don't know how to trade. That's right. Even mean traders. Listen, by their great wisdom, they got them some traffic. They told them, said, listen, this is what we do. Y'all got to get circumcised. We'll give you our women, and I, you can take our son for your daughter. We'll take your daughter, and we'll let your sons take our daughter. When those men went and circumcised, they fled. They had no understanding about circumcision of the heart. That's why we killed them and took their women. We know how to trade. We didn't lie to them. You don't understand circumcision. That's you. I didn't lie because you didn't understand. <laughs> that right? It ain't my fault. By my great wisdom, I know how to trade. This is what happened. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers. Listen. For I have spoken, it saith Yahuwah Elohim. Moreover, the debar of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, What did he say? Ben of Ish, take up a lamentation upon the Malak of Tyrus, and say unto him, yeah. Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim, yeah. Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, perfect in beauty. Mm. You, how good looking? Perfect in beauty. What did I just told you about his knowledge? You think he was talking about his look? He just told you what will be. They're going to come about the beauty of his knowledge. Listen. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of Elohim. Uh-oh. You ain't going to believe what just happened over here in the 18th chapter. They just told you where he was. He was in the garden. He oftentimes been there. You ain't see the deal he just made with him? He said, who you looking for? I said, we're looking for Yahushua Nazareth. He said, I'm him. He asked me again, who you looking for? They said, Yahushua Nazareth. He said, I told you before I'm him. Let these go. By his trafficking, look what he got. Look what he got by his trafficking and how he knew how to trade. Can you imagine that man was smart enough in the guard and he done been in the guard. I, he said, I know these guys not that clever. You let these around here go and you can take me. Those he let go done put this dabarine out and, here, and done turn the whole of rocks upside down. He knew how to trade. He knew how to traffic. He was in the guard. Y'all all right? Let me show y'all something else. Right quick, three and one. Well, go ahead. So I can finish first Corinthians. I can go first Thessalonians four. Let me try to get this out of the board. Three and one. Three and one. Okay, nine. Let me run back through right quick. Give me that first Corinthians chapter fifteen. I think we left off fifteen and fifty. In first Thessalonians chapter four and about verse eleven. Let's see what happens. I'll try to get you. I'll try to put this up. Listen. There was an Ish of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. The same. A ruler of the Yahudim. He was a Shah. He was a Shah of the Yahudim. Listen. The same came to Yahushua by Layla and said unto him. What did he tell him? Ra'ah, we know that thou art a Murray come from Allahim. You see that? He already knew that he was Adam, come from Allahim. I heard what he said, and I know what I just said too. Listen why. For no Ish can do these miracles that thou doest except. Anybody can name all our animals and walk on the water and do what he did and so Elohim be with it. They would have known too he came from him. Nobody could do the works that he did except Elohim be with him. So you tell me how was Adam able to do the works he did if Elohim wasn't with him? Even, even his Kuhur told us that Elohim had said that would make him a teacher. <clears throat> And they knew where he came from. How else could you be able to do the words he did except all he may have been with him? Don't worry about it. First Corinthians chapter 15. 15, what we love about 48. 1 
First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 48. Listen to the book. As is the earthy, such, such are they also that are earthy. Yeah. And as is the Shamaim, such are they also that are of Shamaim. What happened? And as we have borne the image of the earthy. See that? As we borne the image of the who? The earthy. What did the earthly, what did the earthy do? Committed sin. Committed sin. So or what else? We shall also bear the image of Shamaim. So that we got a better image of the one of Shamaim. Listen. And now this I say, Akim. What did you say? That flesh and blood cannot inherit the Malkuth of Elohim. How am I going to do that, Brandon, if I got blood? Except I be born again. See, all this parallel and what he's been telling you about being born again. Because he just told you flesh and blood couldn't do it. Y'all all right? So we see in the premise of when he's seen where the mistakes were made. I know how to set this up and make sure a man can stay. He can have an enduring substance. That's how important it is for you to be born again. Man. So being born again is going to come in that you won't have flesh and blood conjunction. You have flesh, but you won't have blood. Life is in the blood. So you can't have blood. Are y'all all right? Are we all right? You won't have blood. That wouldn't make sense. That would not make sense that you have blood. That'll be the difference. First Thessalonians chapter four at verse eleven. First Thessalonians chapter four at verse eleven. Other one, give me 19, I know I said 1930. Your Ukanon. And he's going to write it. They call it John. 1930. Listen to the book. And that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands. Yes. As we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without. Yeah. And that ye may have lack of nothing. Yeah. But I would not have you. To be ignorant, a key. Like what? Concerning them which are asleep. Concerning them which are dead. Then what happened? That ye sorrow not, yeah. even as others which have no hope. What happened? For if we believe that Yahusha died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahusha will Allahim bring with him. What happened? For this we say unto you by the Debar of the Adonai, yeah. that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Adonai shall not prevent them which are asleep. Then what's going to happen? For the Adonai himself shall descend from Shamanim with a shout, with the voice of an arch Malachi, with the trump of Elohim. And what's going to happen? And the dead of Mashiach shall rise first. You see that? And the dead of the Mashiach going to rise first. And what happened? Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Adonai in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Adonai. So what you want me to do? Wherefore, comfort one another with these dabarim. That's what we're going to do. That'll be the premise of you being born again. We take you up from the grave. We bring you back from the dead. We do the same thing that Adam did. You'll get up. You've already taken on the immersion. All you're going to do now is the Ruach. This is um, your Ukanine, chapter 19, verse, 20, verse 30. Make it 28. <coughs> Listen to the book. After this, Yahushua, knowing that all things are now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I what? thirst. He said, I thirst? And what happened? Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it to his mouth. Yeah. When Yahushua therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Yeah. And he bowed his head and gave up the ruach. So what did he do at that point? He died. He died. What happened? The Yahudim, therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Shabbat Yom. For well, why? For that Shabbat Yom was in high Yom. What happened? Besought Pilate that their legs might be broken yeah. and that they might be taken away. Yeah. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first. Yeah. 
and of the other which was crucified with him. Well, what happened? But when they came to Yahusha and saw that he was dead already, what did they, do? they break not his legs. What happened? But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. And then what? And forthwith came there out blood and water. So you tell me he got up with blood? He can only get up one way. Just like I don't. Just like you will. You just don't know it. It's still confusing. Ask yourself about the first and the latter rain. It watered the cross before you take him in. Just like he did with Adam. That's why he watered the ground before he took him up. That was part of your covenant. I'm going to give you the first and the latter rain. Before you take it in, I'm going to wet it. Just like I did Adam before I took him in. That's good.